no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. Well, as you can see, um, I'm starting fresh on County Line here. The reason for that being is because I went to go record this video on the other one and realized that I totally screwed up all of the uh, setting, all of the crops and all that stuff. Um, I forgot that you can only plant at certain temperatures for certain crops, and so I kind of messed everything up. So we're just going to start fresh. We're going to start, we're going to take a different approach. We're going to take a little bit slower of an approach and, uh, do things a little bit differently here. So we're, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell everything off. Okay, and then we're going to go here, and we are going to take out a loan, but first, okay, 33, 10, and 11. Okay, so we're going to take out a loan. Okay, uh, we're actually going to go, we're going to do it this way here. We're going to just repay this entire loan here. And then, let's see, 100, okay. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead, we're going to buy our machines. And this time we're also going to do animals. So, um, yeah. So first we need a cultivator. So we're going to go with this disc again. Just because it's about a, about the perfect size that we need. Okay, so then we need cedars. So we're going to go with this guy. The uh, Great Plains. And then the DB60. So we're kind of doing a medium-ish. You know, we're kind of doing a little bit different of an approach, like I said. Do we want a sprayer or fertilizer sprayer? I think we'll go with. Oh, we'll go with a roller. And we'll do green. Okay, so we got all that stuff. So we're going to get two of these, I think. Well, no. We're going to do... So we'll get that, and then we'll get the dolly for it. And then we'll just buy a grain truck. But, okay, so now we need a couple of tractors. So I think we'll get an 8440... Um, okay, which has more power? 340, 400 plus you can get. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with an 8R. Um, attachers. We'll go with the light front weight. We'll go, might as well go with the 8400R. Well, let's see. I think 320 should be just fine. Um, okay, we're not getting triples. We'll go with the 22-inch rear duals with wheel weights. 
We want Green Star ready, and we want Mud Guards. Okay, those should be good. So now we need a combine. And let's see, we're not going to go for a mod. I think we'll go with the 9380 Delta. Oof, -da. we're starting to kind of run our funds down a little bit here. Um. Okay. So we'll get the 35 foot header. Oh, okay. So we got res uh, reset some stuff first. Oh, that's right. It's going to do that. So, like I said, definitely taking a bit of a different approach to things. Um, okay, so now we'll buy our header. Okay, so what corn head would run on the 9380? Ah, this one. The uh, 12 row. Let's see how many colors? Oh, that comes in a lot of colors. And then would this be. No, probably not that one. It'd probably be. No, that one's too small. This one seems kind of big, though. It's a 12 meter. It's a 10.7. It's a 9. You know, I thought I downloaded a modded sunflower header, but I guess I did not. Yeah, we'll just skip a sunflower header for now. Okay, and then we want to get the Transtar grain truck. We're going to get it in red. And we don't need to oversize. Okay. So now we should be all set up. We just need a vehicle yet I believe that's all that we need um, it should be oh we need a couple of placeables though I see okay we bought a sprayer right Oh no, we bought the land roller, so all that we need is seed. Okay. So now, okay, let's see. Let's pick up another field or two. Uh, let's see about getting maybe field eight. Well, we can lease it. We'll lease field eight. So we'll run four fields. That should should be fine. And then what we're gonna do? We're gonna fast forward time and get it so that our ground temperature is warm enough. Because if we look here. We can't seed anything until it's at least 41 degrees, the ground temperature. Um, so I think the crops that we'll do, we'll do like wheat, uh, we'll do soybeans, we'll do corn, and maybe milo. But we can't do anything until it's 41 degrees, ground temperature. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward a day or two until we get 41 degrees at least. 
There we go. Okay, we got 41 degrees, so... Um, I just need to check settings here. We got one fertilizer, and periodic plowing is off. Okay. So now what we'll go ahead and do is plant some crops. So we'll go ahead and start off with the drill. Let's see, we can plant we can plant all the crops except for soybeans and corn. And this thing does all the crops that we need or that we can plant right now, so we are all set. Now we gotta decide, okay, um, I think we'll do, we'll do wheat in field 33, uh, and I don't know if we're gonna have to, let's go look at this here, we might have to do some tillage, I'm not entirely sure, I'm hoping not, yep, this field's gotta be tilled. 10 is, yeah, they all have to be tilled. Dang. Um, okay. Shoot. Okay, so this, oh, yeah, it does. And I'm actually going to make a change. I'm going to sell the, wait, okay, so that's 9 meters. How big is the lemkin? I think that's the same. So, okay. Um, well, then we're going to have to get this guy running. And then we can plant. I didn't think of that. Okay, so what we'll do is, I guess we'll cultivate by hand because, um, you know, we can't really do anything else. But then once we get one field done, then we'll um, we'll uh, set up course play on this, and then we can start planting. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. That was that was dumb on my part there. need to program something for the HUD hider, like on my joystick or something. I want to set my dirt to fast as well. Yeah, this field's not too terribly large, so it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't take 
too awful long to do, but and again, you never do know. I don't know why this on up so much grass on the edges here. And I hope that this goes away fairly soon because it's starting to get annoying. team to get very annoying. So I think we'll put the wheat up here in field 33. We'll do the sorghum in field 8, or the milo. Uh, we'll do the... Let's see, because we're doing... We have four fields, so wheat... Um, what is it? Wheat... Wheat, milo, corn, and soybeans. So we'll do the wheat here in field 33, the milo in field 8, we'll do the corn in field 11, and the beans in field 10. Well, these should be going away pretty soon. We've got our leasing of the field. 7,500, oh, that was for our seed tank, okay. Yeah, I, I am kind of glad that I have to restart just because it's a little bit of a different approach to things. Um, you know, we got a little bit different equipment, a little better equipment, a little better setup and whatnot uh, than we did before. So, and it, had I remembered you know, this whole thing with the, uh, seasons, then we wouldn't have had to restart, and we could have just kept going the way that we were going, but, like I said, I totally forgot about the whole thing with seasons mod, so, um, just gonna kind of do it the way that we're doing it right now, and just kind of run with it. Let's get our GPS on here. Till it in Let's see, we're gonna go kinda like this, I think. That'll work. Uh, this thing is nine meters, not nine point nine. We're actually going to make it 8.5, just because then we have some wiggle room. And I'm going to bring the uh, cruise down to 12 miles an hour. So that way we don't come into a turn and go insanely fast. We can probably bring down our steering wheel here. We really have to be stopped to do all this. It's kind of annoying. There we get our markers out here. We'll leave it on that one, I guess.
It's kind of funny how like the outside temperature is 39 degrees right now, but it is just coming up on 8 o'clock in the morning, so we're going to go to about 10 or 8.30 maybe actually. Yeah. Oh, now we got some heavy fog sitting in. I wanted to go a little bit farther, but I don't want to deal with this fog. Some pretty heavy stuff. So now we got 41 degrees outside as well. goes away. I think what we're gonna have to do is go like this. There we go. Alright, twelve o'clock. We're at noon now. It's about where I wanted to be I guess. This is a very, very nice tractor. Raphael did a very nice job on this ADAR. I'm sorry for having to restart and all that stuff. I know we were started already and going, but um, I guess it's just what happens every once in a while or something, you could say. I don't know. Not much we can do about it, I guess. Yeah, this is your Sunday video. Um, uh, just a reminder that tomorrow there won't be a farm sim video, um, but there will be a farm video. Um, it's probably going to end up being the one that I recorded a couple weeks ago, or else I'll have both of them out. Um, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll have them both out or something. I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't have bought a plow instead. It would maybe clean up these edges and stuff a little more, but... This is a pretty nice little disc though. Nice little 30 footer. Um, 
I don't know. Did I put the 2720 in as well? Oh, but that's a plow, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. We also have these. Uh, one's a 13 shank and one's an 11 shank. And a 2100. So, I mean, if I did have the periodic plowing on, we have implements in game that we could use. But, like the Landall Ripper, that um, plows and cultivates. So, we could have used that and then have the periodic plowing on because we'd have to plow all the time, anyways. In fact, actually, we only have to do two fields because the DB60. Um, actually direct seeds if I remember correctly and we can we can figure that out um, I'm pretty sure it does yeah the DB60 seeds directly so we really only have to yeah we only have to do this and field 8 But I'm sure it wouldn't really hurt to do the other ones as well. But it's not a necessity, I guess. Okay, um, I'm going to stop like a couple minutes early just because I'm kind of in a hurry. So, yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and uh, we'll see you in the farming video tomorrow, but we'll be back again with FS on Tuesday. So thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you later.